ACT. I O N. You're still on fire, Tommy. 17 and 4. 17 and 4 over the last seven weeks. Both of us last week went 2 and 1. It's still good on flat plays. You understand that? Hey, Captain, there we go. Welcome to Action Bets, everybody. Action Bets here with the Captain. Week 17 picks. We're going to go. And Captain say, Captain saying, I'm on a hot roll. 17 and 4 against the Brett spread. If you've been following us, guys, uh, 4 and 2 last week. Captain is back aboard, and we're cruising and uh, ready to set sail to look at week 17. That's 62 units up if they've been following you the last seven weeks. Yeah, Captain. On flat bets. Hey, hey, been feeling good. We're going to hope to keep the momentum here going. We got two more weeks of the NFL, everybody. We appreciate all the regulars. If you're new to the channel, also hit that like, subscribe. Ding. Ding. Ring the bell. Throw it out in the comments who you guys like. Jennifer, two and one last week. I Captain. saw that. If you if you went in with my choice on the Bengals, Jennifer, you would have went three and zero. Oh. Uh, Simon, one and zero oh with the got by with the Giants there. Three and a half. That half point really worked. It's like the moon's aligned because I used to own a bar here, a sports San Diego Sports Club in San Diego here, and I, I Billy Martin was one was my manager. The freaking guy hit three six teamers last week. So he got all his money back that he lost from this year. And his main nemesis at the bar, Mortal Dean, he even hit a three-teamer. And that guy never hits anything. Hey, that a boy, Billy. We like glad to hear you're winning there, Billy. And Dean, congratulations. Mortal to win. Uh, let's do a quick recap of Week 16, Captain, and then we'll get our picks here Week 17 to hope to keep rolling here. Uh, week, week 16, the Jaguars behind Trevor Lawrence. First year head coach Doug Peterson making a late uh run here at the end of the year they got a chance to make the playoffs are the Jags for real no here you got to remember we're looking at the Thursday night game and um, you know Malik Willis he's out uh, and then there's they're gonna start Josh Dobbs third string quarterback <sighs> Henry's out uh, they're gearing up they're saving Henry uh, for next week because they're playing Jacksonville winner of that game goes to the playoffs yeah, good point there, Captain. How about the Bills crushing the Bears in Chicago? Uh, Bills still playing for that top spot in the AFC. It's still a little bit of battle between KC, Buffalo, and the Bengals have a small chance too there, Captain. Uh, the Bengals could really tighten this thing up on Monday night. We'll see about that. How the Chiefs on cruise control, uh, you know, just crushing the down spiral Seahawks. The Seahawks really seem to be going downhill as of late, but the Chiefs look like nice and have some really solid momentum going into the playoffs. Well, you know, in week 14, uh, Jerry Judy scored three touchdowns on these guys and I'm telling you you have a, a, a divisional game and it's up to 13 points right now Nate Hackett he's gone they bought in the boy chick Jerry Roseburg Jerry Roseburg's in they fired the offensive line coach they fired the special teams coach and if you've noticed when there's a turnover that team, the team right there plays better the next game. 13's a lot to give, Tommy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that one later, Captain. The Bengals a win on the road versus the Patriots. This offense looks good. Patriots almost came back, but the Bengals still holding on there. to the 7-0 and against the spread, Tommy. K uh, Cincinnati is, and they're playing at home this week. Look out. Titans lose five in a row. I don't want to talk about it. I Poo. said last week when I gave it Poo. out, before the show, I told Captain I was Poo. going to give out the Bills, and I went against it. And I would have went 3-0, and but yeah. I went 2-1 and one because I take the Titans. Poo. I don't know what's going Mortachi. on there in Tennessee. Uh, They're the worst. Now, on the other note, I'm on the, the worst, 49ers. Uh, press a win over the Commanders, 47-30. to 30. This 49ers team seems to be for real. 49ers are unbelievable right now. Eat with Brock Purdy, the, the third string uh, quarterback in there. It, once again, this is reminding me of that Super Bowl team Trent Dilfer had in Baltimore where the defense won that Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. And how about the Cowboys beating the Eagles at home? This is a big boost. I know Hurst out, but if you're a Cowboys fan, you got to have a little more confidence in your team there. Uh, big win for the Cowboys. Oh, no doubt about it. But you know what? <laughs> Looking at this week, it's a free ride. You know, they, now it's just a numbers game with Dallas. But you know what? They may end up playing at Tampa Bay the first week of the season. Man, we got a lot of action to talk about. Let's do a quick playoff picture, Captain, then we'll get to an injury report that you're going to put out, and then we're going to get to our picks, everybody. So bear with us here on Action Bets. Tommy D along with my man, the Captain. Boom, week boom. 17. Uh, we did a quick recap of Week 16 there. Uh, playoff picture, Captain. The Chiefs and the Bills playing for that AFC spot. Bengals still have a small shot. Who do you think gets it? 
you know what, believe it or not, the way the Bengals are playing right now, Ooh. call them butter, they're on a roll. All right. Ravens clinch a win last week, even without Lamar there. Uh, your thoughts of the Ravens moving forward? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know what? <laughs> oh, boy. You know, are they, are they going to have Lamar? Huntley's not the guy I want to have on for my quarterback in the playoffs. They got a strong running game in, in Baltimore. Might be able to help them. Defense pretty solid, but it had snuck in there. Chargers, how about the L.A. Chargers? Cincinnati and the Chargers, they're playing really good right now. Uh, I think that you're going to miss uh, James this week. Uh, he got kicked out of the game in a bell ringing shot on Monday night, but uh, I think you're going to miss him this week, but he'll be back for next yeah, week. Yeah, Chargers offense, fun one to watch there. Uh, Jags are winning the AFC South currently with two games left, a 7-8. and eight. All they got to do is beat the Titans in the last game of the season, and they're in. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. They have to win this week, but... You know, going into that game, uh, gee whiz, look at it, look at what it can happen and how they started. And Giants, Commanders, and Packers all dueling out for the wild card. Uh, did you think Aaron Rodgers was still a chance no. to make the playoffs? No. No, I didn't. What is going on I here? Didn't. I, I think I think it's going to be uh, the Giants this year. Uh, it, it's I, I think out of those three, I think the Giants are the most viable. Yeah, enough enough of the playoff spot. You guys can look at that. The Giants do clinch a spot, beating the Colts this week. Eagles need a win in the la Eagles uh, need one win in the last two games to secure that number one spot. So uh, Eagles are going to be looking to win even without Hurst there. And the Bucks, the Bucks get a win and they they win their division seven and eight. Uh, they play the Panthers this week. So uh, and the Seahawks, believe it or not, Captain are still alive. So this playoff picture is crazier than any year I could think. Gino of. plays the Jets. Who the Jets picked them? I think second second round. Oh yeah. You know, Gino. Gino, it's going to be a revenge game there. So enough of the, enough of that little playoff picture, guys. We appreciate you tuning in here. Let's get to week 17. That's why you're here. NFL picks, free picks for you guys. Throwing them out there. Like Captain said, I've been rolling hot. My man, Cop Captain, just got aboard the ship here. And we're going to keep cruising here to the end here, Captain. Who's your first pick? Uh, actually, before we get to that, let's do an injury report. My man, the Captain, did a quick look. Uh, to see what we got for this week. What Two is out with his third, fourth concussion this year. Teddy Bridgewater's in at Miami. Uh, <sighs> Tyler Heineke's out at Washington, and Carson Wentz is now in. Uh, Owen Wilson is is out at, at the Jets, and Mike White comes back off injury, and he's back in. Derek Carr is not even going to suit up. He's done in Vegas. Jared Stidham takes over there. And like I said, Nate Hackett is gone. Goodbye, Nate. That was 15 games and a lot of money. But Jerry Roseburg, the boy chick from New York, comes in and takes over. I look for an inspired game from Denver, but that's all we got to say. Tommy, who's your first pick of the week? Well, Captain, you know what? Talking about, uh, you're talking about the Broncos needing the big game, and I think that, you know, Hackett deserved to get fired. But I really yeah. watched, I've been watching the Broncos, and, you know, I've been a fan of Russell Wilson for a long time. But I, I think he's done, guys. I don't think he could play anymore, and I think really he's one of the main reasons why the Broncos are losing. $234 uh, million for 10 years. I mean, I think that that was probably the worst deal, one of the worst deals in history. Uh, the Seahawks just look like geniuses right now. Yeah. Uh, they, got in all that trade. Pick. they got all those picks. Uh, so I'm looking at last week. The Broncos lost to the Rams 51-14. to I don't know where the Denver's defense went, but I, I, I don't like that. They did lose to KC 34-28 to at home. That was an eight-point spread. We're looking at minus 12.5. I got it at 12.5 here. Uh, KC averages 29 points a game. Denver averages 15. Uh, that means there's a 14-point difference there. That's right above the line there. 12.5, 13. I think you're good. KC's at home. Last three games, 24-10, to 26-10. 27 to 10. That's an average of 13 points. Uh, it's right there. Denver's offense is bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Casey's defense is actually looking a little yeah, bit better. Is. And Mahomes and Kelsey, that combo is looking really nice going into the playoffs. And like you said, Bron Broncos fired the coach. That could be a positive or a negative. I just don't see anything out of the Broncos, especially last week. They lost 51 to 14 to the Rams with the backup quarterback. Okay? Not so, um, that's all I got. I'm going with the Chiefs here. They are playing for that number one spot, and they're at home at Arrowhead. Uh, weather could be a problem there. I know it's an in-division in division rivalry game here. I'm going to take uh, the Chiefs minus 12 and a half. I'm going to roll with Mahomes and the Chiefs. Okay. I like that. What do you like, Captain? Your first pick. My first pick, uh, I'm looking at Chicago and Detroit. Chicago and Detroit, is, since the trade with Raquan Smith going to Baltimore, this 
this, this team has gone over, I think, in the last seven games. Uh, they're playing in Detroit where it's going to be a track meet. I like the over 52 here. Tommy, we're going to get a nickel and go get your money on that, Tommy. Start the day off right. There we go. Who's your second Detroit, pick? Detroit, one of those teams still yeah. in the playoff hunt. Oh, yeah. Uh, I they're believe, right there. Yeah, right. They're, they're right still there. in the mix. And they they need winning. a little f feng shui going there. They need there. a little fluff, a little help there. Uh, second pick for me, Captain. I'm going to be going to uh, the Colts versus the Giants. I'm going mm. in New York. Yeah. Uh, Giants minus six. I got it under six, uh, under a touchdown. So minus six. I like this number. Oh, yeah. Giants can clinch a playoff spot. I love when you're playing teams that need a win. Yeah. If they win and they're in, they're at home. Momentum. They played great last week against the Vikings. We're right there to win in that game. They lost on a 61-yard field goal, Captain. Uh, the Colts lost 20-3 to last week to the Chargers at home. Didn't see much for them. As no. you know, the Colts are one of those teams that could keep the number if they show up. But I think they got a full start in there. If I'm Brutal. Not. So, uh, saying that, I, I, I love the Giants here. Uh, Danny Jones, not my favorite quarterback, but control the game. Give the ball to Mark Saquon. Green. And, yeah, I think they pull it off. That I like Higby. the Giants. Guy, that, that, the new guy, uh, Hodgkins. Oh, yeah. Wide oh, receiver. Oh, solid. Solid guy. Uh, minus six here. I'm going in New York. I'm going to play the Giants here. They need the win. Yeah. Colts. I think the Colts are done, guys. Uh, so I'm going Giants minus six here as my second pick, uh, week 17. What do you think uh, your next pick, Captain? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm looking at uh, San Francisco going into Las Vegas. And the over-under there is uh, 44 right now. It could be fallen because Derek Carr announced yesterday, they announced Derek Carr. Is going to be in street clothes, and he's all done, son. Oh. So uh, Jared Stidham starts. He came over with uh, McDaniels from uh, New England. Never started in a game. And going against that number one defense, this is going to get ugly. I'm going to go under. I'll be surprised if uh, they score nine, th nine points in this game, three field goals. I'll be shocked if they even score a touchdown. But I'll, be, I'll take under 44 as of right now, San Francisco. Los, uh, Los, Los Angeles Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders, under 44 for a nickel. Go get your money, Tommy. Yeah, San Francisco defense rock solid, guys. And, you know, might put up some points there, but the Raiders look to be oh. struggling here. They look like they're throwing in the towel here. Uh, <laughs> Who's your third pick? My last pick is going to go to over 48 uh, in the Minnesota Green Bay game here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Minnesota's defense has been pretty bad of late. 24, 36, 34 allowed in the last... Uh, three games. Uh, Packers allowing 144 games on the ground, so I expect Delvin Cook, a lot of play action there from Minnesota. And Justin Jefferson, I mean, I have you seen a guy with a better season? He's right there. He could pass Jerry Rice this week, and he's got a small chance to, to beat Calvin Johnson's record also with two more games left. Yeah. Uh, him and Tyreek Hill are both right there. I think Jefferson has a better shot there. Uh, but Packers are still alive in the playoffs, so Aaron Rodgers is going to be putting it all out there, so I like the over. Over 48 uh, in the Minnesota Vikings versus the Green Bay Packers. That's Week 17 NFL. Uh, Captain, who's your last pick? I don't see too much punting in that game either. I, I think it's going to be a wide open game. I'm going to go. It's a 10-unit play. I haven't had a 10-unit play in three months. 10-unit play. Buffalo goes into Cincinnati. Cincinnati 7-0 the last seven games against the spread. I like the way they're looking. This team right here at home, Monday night, the show, chance to take down this team. I'm telling you, I'm all over Cincinnati plus the one for 10 units. Go get your money, Tommy. Yeah, Captain. Hey, Cincinnati has been rolling. We've been talking about them a lot here on the show as of late. Bengals are one of those teams. That offense is looking tuned up. Defense is coming around a little bit, too. Uh, so, uh, you know, at home against Buffalo, big, big game. If they could, Huge game. If they could win these two games and Buffalo loses, uh, you know, I think they have a chance for the AFC. I think there's a small yeah. chance, but uh, it starts this week with Joe Burrow, who we know can handle the pressure. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, he just – I love the way he, this team looks right now. And they're clicking on all cylinders, Tom. Man, woo! They are, sure are. And everybody, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, action bets, guys. Throw down in the happy comments if you like. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to Bring one on and 2023. All. We're ready for it. 2023 can't be any worse than 2022. Hey, 2023, the great Michael Jordan. This is right, baby. Come on home with 2023. We'll see you next right next week on ACT. I O N. Action bets. We'll see you guys. God love you. Drive safe. Amateur night, Tommy. You know what? It's gonna be amateur night. Hey, forget about it. Yeah, don't worry. T 
to you and yours. Nothing but the best.